Okay, so now we're going to go to the Holmbury Station. Or Stadium, not Station. Okay, let's get a Pokemon out. So we'll be facing Gyarados. It's a water and flying type, making it four times weak to electric type attacks. And it's also weak to rock type attacks. So, um... I don't even know if I have a Pokemon that'll be good against Gyarados. I mean, like, I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to beat it, but, like, a direct type advantage, you know? I mean... Uh, yeah, okay, whatever, we're just gonna put Eternatus up front. Yeah, because I don't have any electric or rock type Pokemon. Which is really unfortunate. As you can see, um, I haven't battled Gyarados before, apparently. Which doesn't sound right, but okay. Wow, this isn't going well. That's such a weird ringtone.
Okay, so before you head into um, Professor Sonya's lab, make sure your Pokemon are healed because you will have to battle either Swordbird or Shieldbird. Keep in mind that one of their Pokemon will be missing, so you'll only have to battle three instead of four. But uh, it's at the same time, so in a way it's like six. But you'll also have Hop to help you out. First time I played through, Hop, like all of his Pokemon died, and I was left to fight them alone. Which is really unfortunate, but I still beat them, so that's all that matters. Anyway. So funny that I have like tea and biscuits on the table already. Well, here goes, boys. So, each of the two brothers uses three Pokemon, both choosing not to use their Surfetched. Hop joins you to help out with this battle. The brothers use a good number of Steel-type Pokemon, so Fire and Ground-type moves are a good choice. Both Swordwords, uh, Galsapod, and Shieldbirds falling are weak to Flying-type moves. A powerful Corvic Knight using a move like Brave Bird should have no problem knocking them out. Hop might even send out a Corvid Knight himself if this double faints during the battle. Which it will! <laughs> remember that, or remember what you learned from battling either Swordbird or Shieldbird the first time, you won't have too much trouble now. Not gonna lie, I struggled with this battle more than the one in the Slumbering Wheel the first time I played through. I don't know why, but I just did. Anyway. Um, and it's not guaranteed that uh, Hop's double will be knocked out, but it's highly likely because Hop sucks. And sometimes I just tend to attack him for fun. Kidding. Ah, see? What do you know? There we go, we have this Corvic Knight. Okay, so... I guess I should have said this earlier. So, his Bronzong, level 62, it's Steel and Psychic, it's weak to Fire, Ground, uh, Dark, and Ghost. And his Galsapod, also level 62, is Bug and Water, weak to Electric, Flying, and Rock. And then, of course, Galsapod's ability will make it switch out. Yeah, emergency exit. So we'll have to worry about it later. Uh, Bisharp. Okay. Bisharp, level 62, dark and steel, four times weak to fighting. It's also weak to fire and ground. I'm just gonna, like, one-shot all these guys with flamethrower. That, that's what it's looking like. Okay, not one-shot. Oh, great. Low battery. But... All my damage will be dealt with flamethrower because that—that's what it's looking like. Yeah, that's right. Just attack Hop. No, don't even try attacking Eternatus here. He'll—he'll he'll just destroy you completely. Is anyone else? There was like a way to Dynamax Eternatus. Like I know that most legendaries can't, but you know when you first catch him, he—he he was in Dynamax form. So don't you think there should be some way 
even if it was just like a special item or something, but I don't know. Or maybe even a specific move that did that. Kind of like a turn to speed. Or, no, a turn to beam, right? Something like that? I don't remember. Oh, I don't think I said Fallings, did I? Yeah, okay, Fallings, level 62, Fighting, Week 2, Flying, Psychic, and Fairy. Uh, Clang Clang, level 62, Steel Type, Week 2, Firefighting, and Ground. Uh, Double A, level 62, Poison, what am I saying? It's Ghost and Steel, making it Week 2... Uh, fire, ground, ghost, and dark. Okay. See, I told you. Just, oh. Oh boy, which one? Which one? I think we'll go with this one. Just because. wondered how those release steam when they turn so fast. I mean, I suppose if they were turning fast enough, they would create friction, but that wouldn't make steam, right? I'm not 100% sure on that, but that's okay. Oh, that's how that move works. Okay, good. I was about to be screwed there. And now you're dead. I might die on my next turn, depending on uh, who uh, sword with their attacks. Sweden wants to learn Blizzard. Uh, yes, please. Oh, which move? Which move to forget? Uh, so this is weaker, but it may also leave it frozen. I might go with no. That makes a flinch. Lowers. Yeah, we'll go with, um, alright, yeah, we'll go with this one. Liquidation. Rest in peace. Alright, well, I have to deal with Dual Blade and Galsapod. They don't share any weaknesses, but I think Urshifu should be able to handle them. I think. Yeah, whatever, let's just go with it. Yes, we got the dark type move for double eight here, and I won't have any moves that are. Oh wait, or maybe I do actually. I think I have a flying type move. I didn't actually look; I just kind of picked it. do have aerial legs. Okay. Oh no. Oh wait. I forget how that move works. I thought it would be just like the first turn you come into battle. But maybe it's whenever you're, you know, sent out of your Pokeball. I don't know. Either way, it's very powerful. Rillaboom almost fainted. But I, I wouldn't really care if it did. Wait. Why are these guys doing JoJo poses? <laughs> I don't watch JoJo. I only know what they look like because of a friend. Why were their eyes white? I guess they were rolling their eyes really far back in their head or something. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. The traitor.
What kind of laugh is that? hee hee ho ho. Yeah, we're just gonna leave Sonya to be depressed in that corner for now. That's awful, I, uh, no, whatever. Four more stadiums, oh boy. Oh. Uh, it's nice that Piers is considered for his younger sister. Good guy, good guy. Okay, first I'm gonna head to Hammerlock. Um, I wonder if my Pokemon got healed or not. Oh, they did, how convenient, okay. Sonya's in there. We have to battle Zashin or Zamazente up here, but she can't, uh, she can't open it at this moment. So for now, we're just gonna go over here, talk to Rehan, and, uh, yeah. I wonder why Piers was chosen. Like, I mean, it could have been anyone that came along. You know, you and Hob make sense, because you two are, like, rivals, and then the gym leader at each of the gyms, but I wonder why Piers was selected. Like, as your, uh, your fourth companion. Yeah, except... Yeah, maybe I should have brought this, uh... Okay, well... Now you have to battle it by yourself, because apparently there were multiple, uh, Dynamax Pokemon. So each of you is taking on one. So, yeah, Haxorus. Uh, it's Dragon type making a way to Ice, Dragon, and Fairy. Oops. Oh yeah, I could, could, could. A Dynamax cannon, go! <laughs> Oh yeah. Yay, we got Ray Hansler rarely cared. Okay, great.
Okay, next let's go to Stow on side. Now, depending on which version of the game you're playing, it will be different. Uh, if you're playing Pokemon Sword, you'll have to fight Kong Calder. If you're playing Pokemon Shield, you have to face Dust Noir. And I'm thinking I will make like a Pokemon Shield version of this video. But I'll just skip all the stuff that's also in this video. So, for example, I wouldn't include the Hammerlock. I would just go straight to Stow on side and show you the battle against Dust Noir and... Uh, you know, like the battle against Dosh and Orzama Zente, just the difference. And, and uh, if you're playing Shield, Sword Word will steal the sword, and then you'll still have the shield. But anyway, yeah, just only the things that are different. Everything else I'll probably leave out so the video won't be as long, because when this is done, the video will probably be over an hour. Probably. Okay, uh, right, Conkelder, Fighting, Week 2, Flying, Psychic, and Fairy. I don't have any of those moves, but we're just gonna Dynamax this cannon straight back to its Pokeball. Okay, I was wrong. Two moves. Oh, if that doesn't kill me. You know, I'm a dragon type, weak to ice. And, okay, we're good. Still got 74 HP. I don't know what it's at, but it's probably, you know, one hit away. We got this. We're going. We're fine. We're fine. Hooray, we've beaten it. Why does B never wear shoes or socks? Okay, now we're gonna go to, um, was it Surchester? Is that the name of the town? I think it is. So again, oops, wait, it's over here. This is just the way I choose to go, because when you go to, like, the fairy gym, you have to battle B instead of a Pokemon, so I'm just kind of leaving him for last. Not that I think he's difficult or anything, but I just feel like leaving it for last. Right, so yeah, depending on the version you're playing, if you're playing Pokemon Sword, you'll have to fight Gigalith. If you're playing Pokemon Shield, you have to face Frostless. Right, Gigalith. It's a rock type, making it weak to water, grass, fighting, ground, and steel. And even out of all those, I still don't have a move that will be super effective against it. So, and I didn't heal. I also did not heal. Well, let's just Dynamax this boy. Well, Dynamax cannon. You know what I mean. One shot, one shot, one shot! Aww. Oh. Rest in peace, Eternatus. It's a good thing I'm not doing a Nuzlocke. Man, I would suck at those. I really need to get into the habit of healing my Pokemon more often. I should do that. I should make a video like I attempt my very first Nuzlocke.
Hurrah. Now we need to go to the last stadium, which is where we have to battle Bead, instead of a Dynamaxed Fairy Pokemon. I don't know why Nintendo chose to do it like that, but I'm not really complaining. Anyway, um... Right, well, Hop is... he's still tagging along, I guess. Because he, he thinks he's gonna help, but in real... actually, I should heal. In reality, he doesn't. He, he never really does when you think about it. It's never helpful. Anyway, um, yeah. We're gonna heal up, and Bead's already taking care of the Dynamax Pokemon in the stadium, but he's just itching for a rematch with, uh, you, because he hates you, and he's out for vengeance. It'd be cool if there was, like, a different ending. Like, for example, if I left the stadium at Stoneside last, then, you know, like, if they've had more time to defeat it, so maybe there'd be, like, a different cutscene if I, you know, came to that one last. I, I know that they don't do that, that's not how the game works, but I'm just, I'm just saying it'd be kind of cool if they did do that. Mawile, level 61, Steel and Fairy, making a week to fire and ground. That's a lie, and you know it. Ray Eternatus is now level 64. Cosmic Power, you know I hate that move. No, I'm kidding. I don't hate it, but I'm usually more of an offense guy. Uh, okay, Gardevoir, level 61. Psychic and Fairy, making it weak to Poison, Ghost, and Steel. I'm gonna keep battling, because I know I have Poison-type moves. Hoping it would do a little more damage than that. Okay, I forget how this move works. If I knock it out, does the attack still come for me? I guess we'll have to find out. Like, I know that it attacks in like a couple turns, but I, I forget if it still attacks even if you've uh, knocked out their Pokemon. Okay, Galarian Rapid Dash, level 62, also Psychic and Fairy, also weak to Steel Ghost and 
um, poison. So we're gonna keep battling again. Ow. Oh, yep, there's a future sight attack. Okay, so it still does hit you. That's uh, that's good to know. It's good to know. Okay, so it's next. The next Pokemon he sends out is. It's also um, a Psychic and Fairy. So it, it has the same weaknesses as the last Pokemon we battled and this one. So if you have a Steel type Pokemon or a Ghost type Pokemon or a Poison type Pokemon, uh, this is pr pretty good type for this battle. Just uh, keep an, keep an eye out for them all a while. You know, it's kind of the the elephant in the room or team, except it's the smallest of them all. So let's just say it's it's the unique one. We're just gonna we're just gonna leave it at that. Oh, come on. Hey, hey, it flinched. Now I'll just use Aerial Ace to finish it off, I guess. Ah, oh, I hate it when they do that. Don't you hate it when they do that? It's very, very annoying, isn't it? Okay, Iron Head, go. Okay, we're good to go, good to go. Okay, after this, we're gonna head back to Hammerlock, you know, where, uh, Sonya was trying to open the door. That, that's where we gotta go. Make sure your Pokemon are healed before you go. Now we have bees rarely bead beads rarely cured. 